Hello students, welcome to my channel Learning History Made Easy. In today's video, I'll be continuing with the second PUC model paper 2023 released by the board. Today's video will be about five mark questions. If any of you want detailed explanation of each of these questions, you can go to the chapter wise videos. Before going into the video, if anyone is seeing the channel for the first time, or if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and share it with your friends. And also click the bell button to receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. <clears throat> so without wasting time, let us get into today's video. So as I have told, today's video is the sixth main, that is five mark question. Answer any four of the following questions in 15 to 20 sentences each. Total six questions will be given. Out of that, you will have to answer any four. Each answer will carry five marks. <coughs> so, let us see the first question. Explain briefly the impact of geography on Indian history. So, first we will write an introduction. The physical features of India such as the Himalayas, the northern plains, the deserts, the mountains, etc. have helped the development of different political units and cultures. Then the next subheading that is Himalayas. Then you write the explanation for that first subheading. It separates India from the rest of Asia. It forms a natural barrier and protects India from invaders and cold wind from the north. They have given birth to many rivers. These rivers form the most fertile plains which were cradles of civilization. The two main passes such as Khyber and Bolan have helped India to have commercial and cultural relation with the West. Next subheading is deserts and forests. They have made the people hard working and warlike. The ocean served as means of connecting the rest of the world and they have separated or they have helped to develop commercial and cultural relations. Next subheading is rivers. They have made the country agrarian. They also influenced the rise and fall of many dynasties. Rivers provided varieties of minerals and rocks. The rocks and stones like sandstone, marble, granite, etc. have helped the development of architecture. It also helped in the growth of rich flora and fauna. So all these uh, points you write, that is uh, first an introduction, then about Himalayas, then deserts and forests, then about rivers. And finally, as a conclusion, this is how job, uh, geography impacts Indian history. So this is how you write the five mark answer. So now let us see the next question. 35th question, explain the town planning of Indus civilization. So regarding this, regarding the town planning, Basic introduction you write, it is a unique feature of Indus civilization. Their town planning proves that they lived in a highly civilized and developed life. They were the first to build planned cities and scientific drainage. Some cities have citadels to the west which was built on a higher platform. On the east they had residential area. Both were surrounded by massive brick walls. Now uh, as a subheading you write about streets. They were straight and cut each other at right angles. They were 30 to 34 feet wide. Streets had lamp posts at the interval. Dust bins were also provided on the streets. All these prove the presence of good municipal administration. The next side heading is drainage system. They had excellent close drainage system. Each house had its own drainage system and soap pit which was connected to public drainage. Drains were covered and had manholes at intervals for cleaning. Large brick culverts were constructed on the outskirts of the city to carry excess water. Indus people uh, had a perfect underground drainage system. Next about the Great Bath. It is one of the most striking features of Mohenjo-daro. It consists of a large quadrangle with a swimming pool in the center. It has rooms and galleries on four sides. Some rooms have arrangement for hot water bath. The swimming pool had flight of steps at either end and the water was discharged by a huge drain. The great bath had withstood the natural ravages for 5000 years. Next, granaries. 
The largest building in Mohenjo-daro is a granary. It is 45.71 meters long and 15.23 meters wide. Brick platforms which form the base for granaries have been found in Harappa and southern part of Kalibangan. Granaries were used for storing grains. Next is buildings. Buildings and houses were built on the sides of the road. Burnt bricks were used for buildings. Every house had two or more rooms. They were also more than one storied houses. The houses had pillared halls, bathrooms, kitchen, well, etc. Elaborate structures other than residential quarters have been found. There were also worksmen quarters. They had an excellent system of water supply and had public wells. Big houses had its own well and a dockyard was also built at Lothal. <coughs> so, this is how you write about the town planning. First an introduction, then about the streets, drainage system, great bath, granary, buildings and last dockyard. So, all these points you write, that is how you write the 5 mark answer regarding town planning of Indus civilization. The next question, 36th question, describe the village administration of the Cholas. <clears throat> village autonomy was an important feature of Chola administration. People of the village looked after the administration through their own elected representatives. Uttara Merur inscription of Parantaka 1 gives us clear information about the village administration. So this much uh, points you can uh, write as an introduction. Then according to this inscription, village was divided into 30 parts Kudumbu. One representative from each unit was elected for a period of one year and the members were elected through a lucky draw system called as Kuduvalai. Villagers assembled in the temple on the day of the election. Names of the candidates to be elected were written on a palm leaf and put in a pot. A small boy was asked to pick leaves one after the other in the presence of everybody and thus the representatives were elected. Elected representatives have to work in the annual committee, garden committee and tank bund committee. These committees were called Variam and its representatives were called as Varia Pirumakkal. These committees work for 360 days. The duty of the village committee were protection of village property, collection of taxes, protection of lakes, temples, forests, etc. The resolutions of the committee were written. Central administration did not interfere in the village administration unnecessarily. Now there were certain <coughs> minimum qualifications and disqualifications for its members. You can write one or two from these also. The candidate should possess a minimum of half acre of taxable land. He should reside in his own house built in on site. He should be more than 35 years and less than 70 years of age. He should possess knowledge of Vedas, Brahmanakas and commerce and he should possess a good character. Now disqualifications. If he is a member of any committee continuously for the previous three years, he is disqualified for re-election. Those in committee who do not submit accounts and his close relatives and alcoholic thieves, those accused of murdering a Brahmin and committing adultery. These were some of the minimum disqualifications and qualifications followed in the village administration. Some scholars have termed Chola village administration as a small democratic state. So all these are the points regarding Chola village administration. So three five mark answer I have explained in this video. Three more five mark answers I will be explaining in the coming video. So if you have any doubt regarding any of these questions, you can ask in the comment section or you can go to chapter wise videos where I have given detailed explanation regarding all these topics. So please if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your likes and shares will be of a great encouragement for me to make more and more videos. So I hope to see you all soon in the coming video. Thank you for watching.